the prison survival story of Anna Nix, a troubled teenager who kills her rapist stepfather in self-defense. A disturbed adolescent named Anna Nix ends herself in a juvenile prison where the sole rule is survival of the fittest when she murders her rapist stepfather in self-defense. Everyone from cruel guards to vicious gangs to ravenous animals wants a piece of her spirit and flesh. No one seems concerned about Anna's well-being, so she must rely on her wits and will to survive. Two characters that Anna encounters are the feisty streetwise Dame Jeannie and the shy and reclusive Jeannie. Anna is divided between joining a group or going solo in this tough jail atmosphere. She encounters two groups of girls dominating the scene, Gila and Cody. Cody tries to entice Anna by offering her companionship and security, but Anna is still on the fence about whether to join a group or go it alone. Just as Anna is about to have a passionate experience with Jenny's advances as they go outdoors, Keila shows up. Anna's rage burns, and she takes a life-altering decision to join Cody's gang. Cody expects proof of her commitment and power before she can become a full member. She makes a bold challenge for Anna to face off against Keila herself, and Anna stands tall, demonstrating her value to Cody and the gang. Anna meets Keila head-on with a sudden and unexpected action, unleashing her concealed fierceness and delivering a pie to Tequila's face. The contact sends shockwaves across the air, leaving everyone startled by Anna's daring. Anna rises tall, demonstrating to Cody and the gang that she possesses the metal. As the morning rises, Anna's mother arrives to visit her, but instead of sympathy and support, Anna has guilt and condemnation for her daughter's murder. Anna has found a new family, a group that embraces her and protects her. When Keila, an old nemesis, arrives to challenge Anna, she unleashes all the punches and kicks she had been holding back, leaving Keila bloodied and vanquished by Frank, the sleazy businessman who had been using her for his advantage. Anna's aggravation reached its boiling point, and she struck out at Jeannie with a furious slap. A guard observed the cut on Jenny's lip during an inspection and dragged Anna off to Frank, who had used his influence to take advantage of her in the past. Anna kept her ground and refused to give in to Frank's advances, accusing him of raping her every day. Frank threatens to toss Anna into an adult prison, where she finally realizes what it means to be caged and alone. Anna, a young girl, finds relief from Cody, who shows her adoration and cautions her about the perils of addiction. Despite their attempts to assist, Anna grows increasingly irritated and restless, leading to her joining a gang of females shooting up. Despite Cody's attempts to intercede, Anna is left alone and spirals deeper into addiction, injecting herself with hazardous amounts of heroin daily. Her health deteriorates, and she becomes paranoid and unhinged, believing Keila is out to get her in a fit of drug-induced madness. Upon her release, Anna's addiction takes hold, and she slides farther into misery. However, just in time, the guard intervenes and brings her back to her seclusion days without medication. Anna's hold on reality falls away, and she grabs a shattered piece of her tray to slit her wrists. In return, Frank, Anna's pal, gives her a parole hearing, but she is compelled to spend the night with him. Anna covertly tapes her contact with Frank, planning to use the footage as evidence before her parole hearing. She persuades Cody to lend her a camera for the undercover operation. During the parole hearing, Anna impresses everyone with her intelligent comments and looks to be on the approach of winning her conditional release. However, Frank betrays Anna, persuading the parole board members to reject her petition for release. Anna shows a tape she had captured earlier, and Frank knows he has made a fatal blunder trying to grab the damning evidence from the grasp of justice. After hearing Anna's amazing narrative of resilience, the parole board chose to free her on a unanimous vote. Anna says farewell to Jeannie and Cody, her devoted companions who have been there for her through the good times and the bad. Please subscribe to my channel for more film recap videos. Thank you for watching my video.